Welcome back again to my online music theory course. Um, today we're moving forward into something a little bit more complicated, but I think um, a little bit of study and it should start to become easy for you. I've already got my board prepared and we're going to be talking about uh, rhythms and grouping of notes um, within certain time signatures. Um, and there's different rules for various time signatures that we must follow. Um, first of all, we already know that we have beats in music. So if your time signature was, let's say, 4 16th, you know that you're going to have four counts in each measure, and the 16th note gets the main beat. In 3 8th time, you're going to have three counts in each measure, or three beats, and the 8th note gets the beat. But we also have rhythms that happen within that time signature. So you're not only going to have 16th notes for the whole song, um, you may have in 416, you may have 32nd notes or 8th notes. Um, different kinds of rhythms, different note values will happen within a piece of music outside of its beats. And we need to know how to group those notes. Um, so the first one we're going to look at is if we have 16 on the bottom, so the 16th note is getting a beat. So for instance, in 416 time, you're going to group the entire measure under a bar. You're not going to group four separate individual 16th notes. So it would be incorrect to write a 16th note, 16th note, four of them in this manner. That would be incorrect. You want to bar them in a group of four. Um, so in four 16 time, the entire measure will be barred. Here's the eighth note, which is worth two 16th notes. And then you have two sixteenth notes. So we have one, two, three, and four. And notice how we barred the entire three notes and the sixteenth notes all together in one bar. Um, in three eighths time, so an eighth note is going to get the main beats. We have three of them per bar. Again, you're going to group the entire measure um, with one bar. So we have beats one, two and three and they've all been barred. Here we have beat one, beat two, and beat three because two sixteenth notes equal one eighth note and we're looking for the equivalent of three eighth notes. But we're going to bar the entire measure again in one group. When we have four we're looking for the quarter note having the main beat. There's quarter note. Um, actually I'm going to take you through one more eighth note one, the four eighth. This one's special. When you're looking for four eighth notes, you're actually going to divide that measure in half. So we'll have a group of two eighth notes connected, and then we'll have another group of two eighth notes connected. So the samples I've given here, you can see two eighth notes and two more eighth notes. And we've divided this measure in two. Be one, two, three, and four. Um, but it would be incorrect to bar all four eighth notes together when you're dealing with um, four eight time. So I'm just going to erase the incorrect way. So again, here we have beats one and two, three and four, and you can see two distinct groups that we barred together. So we'll feel a little bit of a different pulse in four eight time. Okay, so now if we have four, or we're looking for the quarter note to have the main beats, um, in 2-4 time, again, we're going to see that bar divided in half. You're going to see two sections. So beat 1 is here, and beat 2 is there. 4 16th note equal 1 quarter, and then the 2 8th notes equal the second quarter we're looking for. And we see that bar divided into two groups. Here we have two group sample again. There's beat 1 and beat 2. We've divided the measure into two sections, and that would be the correct way to group um, measures that are, have a quarter note having the main beat, two, four time. Now, the last two are a little special. Um, in this sample, we're still dealing with a quarter note having the main beat, but when we're looking for three, four time, 
And remember from the last lesson, there's a strong, weak, weak, strong, weak, weak feel. You're actually going to have three distinct groups. We're going to see each of those groups. So there's beat 1, beat 2, and beat 3. And unlike 4 16th, where we bar the entire measure, we're going to keep each beat separately grouped in 3-4 time. 4-4 four, four time is even more special. We have a wide range of choice on how we can deal with this one. We can see groups of four, so we're looking for four quarter notes. So we can see one, let's do a couple of eighth notes, two, let's add in some sixteenth notes. There's beat three and beat four. One, two, three, four. Four distinct groups. Um, you can also do it as we did in the other sample above, where we see two distinct groups. So grouping in 4-4 four, four time, such as a group of 4 eighth notes, so beats 1 and 2 can be connected. And then the last two beats, as well, can be connected. So I'll just do Sorry, it's messy, but I'm running quickly. So we can see beats three and beats four. But again, we have like an invisible line here. We've divided those four beats into two separate groups. And that is another correct way of writing 4-4 four, four time. And we've covered each beat, seeing each select beat. Or you could have all four beats all barred and in one. So this one is a very flexible time signature where there's three different correct ways to group your notes. But I suggest that you stay consistent throughout the piece that you're writing, um, grouping them in similar ways. So three, four time as well, you can see three distinct groups, but this is the only one that you have a little bit more leeway in how you're gonna group all of those notes. Um, this probably was a little bit more complex than some of the other ones. So again, if you need some extra help or you have any questions about the groupings, uh, message me or leave a comment and I'll get back to you that way and see if we can help you a little bit more. Thanks very much.